You just hit my camera. You just hit my you know camera. What? Who cares? Who cares? Yeah, who cares? So you're admitting you hit I don't think so. I mean, I wouldn't think so, you know, but you know, that's that's the thing. We can get your driver's license number. I'm gonna run you. If everything's clear, man, I'm gonna let you go with your everything. Property, please turn off your device. You can say it as many times as you want. You could keep walking up behind me and trying to intimidate me like you're doing, but I'm not going anywhere. Don't put your hands on me. Well, if I do, if I do, I'm trying to do a FOIA request. I'm trying to do a FOIA request. I have a right to access public information. Hello everyone, I'm very happy to welcome you to today's video. In public spaces, confrontations not only create a sense of tension, but also open up opportunities for us to better understand and affirm our rights as citizens. These situations are not merely conflicts, they serve as occasions to test important principles regarding freedom and how they are protected in practice. In today's video, we will explore specific scenarios where citizenship rights are challenged and affirmed. Stay tuned to learn more about your rights and the importance of protecting them. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like and share to spread this message to more people. In our first scenario, a truck driver abused their power, disrespecting another person's rights and using force, raising concerns about violent behavior and legal violations. My camera. No. Yeah. Who yeah. cares? You hit me yeah. in the chest, asshole. Because you f***ing shoved yeah. me. I didn't shove yes, you. Yes, you did. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're right. Place. You're right. You're f we all know that freedom of speech is protected by the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. However, at a power grid facility in Braintree, Massachusetts, a videographer faced opposition from a truck driver while filming from the sidewalk. The driver appeared upset and attempted to obstruct the filming, even resorting to aggressive behavior to threaten the videographer. These actions not only infringe on personal rights, but also seriously violate the freedom of speech protected by the First Amendment. Who are you? Uh, Who are you? Hey, who are you? I was just curious why you're taking a picture of the building. I take pictures. You know you're blocking the road? No. Yeah, you are. And the sidewalk. And the sidewalk. And the sidewalk. I'm just curious. All right. Like you get one of those breezes. Go what? Is there something wrong with taking pictures? Yeah? The, the only one that's doing something illegal right now is you by blocking that sidewalk. Blocking the sidewalk. Yeah. yeah. Well, don't don't doing? block my way. I'll block your way. Don't block my way. I'll block your way. Get out of my yeah. way. What? Get out of my way. You, what are you, taking Get a picture out of, of me? Yeah, absolutely. Here's the security. Come Get here. out of my way. Leave me alone, you psychopath. You're not a psychopath. You are. Pick someone in public's way. Why? Why you need the mask on? What do you mean? Take the mask on. What do you mean? Do you know what's going on right now? No. You don't? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, today it was over. Oh, today? Yeah. Oh, and then today? Did you hear that? Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah. You're not even up with the news. Oh yeah. You want to be a star or something? I don't know. I don't know you. You but will I'm be. By the... Where's Barry? They're coming. Well, you couldn't get out. Oh, okay. Yeah, you should really move. The wife? That's illegal to block a sidewalk. Get away from me. I can't. It's a free country, buddy. It's called harassment. No, it isn't. Free. I you why it's a free country, pictures. but I can't take pictures, right? Why? It's a free country, but I can't take pictures, right? Does this guy work for you? Can you tell him to stop harassing me? Just curious, are you taking pictures of us for a reason? The building. What are you afraid of me? And you're blocking the driveway. Don't touch me. Don't fucking touch me. You just touched me. I can. Yeah. Yeah. You can't do shit. Ed. Ed. Stay back. Yeah. He just touched me.
Don't touch it. Don't. Ah, you've taken a picture of my... I can't! Yeah. yeah, I can! Yeah, yeah! You can't do shit! Huh? She touched me! No, I... You don't touch me! Suspiciously took pictures. Yeah, yeah. Suspiciously <laughs> took pictures. This is a call, guys. You just hit my you know camera. What? Who cares? Who cares? Yeah, who cares? So you're admitting you hit my camera? No. Yeah, who yeah. cares? You shoved no. me. I didn't shove yes, you. Yes, you did. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're right. You're a idiot. You're going to be a YouTube star, brother. You the picture of the it doesn't matter. It's not illegal. It's not illegal. Yeah. It's not illegal. Yeah. It's not illegal. Yeah. You can push me for taking pictures. I watch you down the street. Why? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Get mask off. I didn't. Free country. Yeah. Yeah, you already called. The sidewalk and public areas are clearly places where filming is permitted, yet it was surprising that the police in this case did not see it that way. They not only ignored citizens' rights, but also engaged in threatening behavior by implying arrest without any legal justification. This attitude not only shows a lack of respect for the rights of the people, but also violates the Fourth Amendment, which protects citizens from unreasonable searches and seizures. A similar incident regarding filming in public occurred in Seattle, Washington on August 10th, 2024. When a citizen was filming activities near a government building, they were asked to stop by a security officer. The citizen asserted their rights, and when the police were called, they confirmed that filming was entirely legal. This incident highlights the importance of protecting citizens' rights in public spaces. Hey, what's going on? Can I get your name and badge number, please? Uh, that gentleman in the van has a problem with me taking pictures from the sidewalk. Okay. That's it. Can I get your name and badge, please? Sure. Uh, it's 211 Lock. 211 Lock? Like... <laughs> Any what? You can't. When you guys get a bunch of phone calls that your employees assaulted me? Stay over here with them, police. Am I detained? This whole disturbance. This isn't a crime. This is a, this is a whole thing. We're just investigating. And while we so you, you're illegally detaining me for what? What out. crime do you suspect me of committing? Are you going to keep doing this? Are you going to keep asking me questions? Yes, if you don't answer me. I did answer you. No, you didn't. What am I detained for? I don't answer okay. questions, sir. I'm just, I'm just what am I detained for? If you don't know, then I'm not detained. So am I detained, sir? I am I free to go? On. Am I free to go? Actually, you're not. So uh, am I detained? Yes. I'm detained. That's fine. Oh, it's fine, right? Qualified immunity is fine? You know what? I'm not saying that. Get a supervisor here, please. Okay. <laughs> Detain me for no crime. I didn't know if you called or somebody somebody had called. I did not call, so am I free to go? Well, you are involved in... They said... Here's, here's the thing. This is what we were called for, right? Pictures. Oh, yep. From yeah. Post video. From a public sidewalk. Yep. So that's not a crime. There was some kind of altercation. No, it, was, it came over as yelling at each other. Okay, but... That's not a crime either, sir. I understand that. What is the crime do you suspect me of committing? So here's, here's the thing. Just, you think I, it's funny, but you've illegally detained me where I'm not free to go. There needs to be a crime, sir. Sir, I understand. Okay, if you understand, then you need to undetain me.
How you doing? How are you? Good. Can I get your name and badge number? Sure. Lieutenant Kevin Ware, 99. 99 Ware. Detained me for no crime. Who's so, detained you? Uh, Locke here and the other gentleman. Can I, can I get your name and badge number, please? Hi. How are you? Am I uh, free to go? Yeah. Thank you, sir. Sure. I appreciate Let's that. So I'm not, no longer detained. Right? You, you detained me, right? Yeah, you're all yeah see. So if I'm free to go, I am free to stay. I appreciate it. You're free to go, you're free to stay. Greatly appreciate that. Unlike the ignorance of the police who lacked legal understanding, the supervisor displayed calmness and professionalism in handling the situation. Rather than applying pressure or threats, the supervisor allowed the auditor to leave without any obstacles. This action not only demonstrated respect for freedom of speech, but also clarified the necessity of understanding and correctly enforcing the law in all situations. Oh, I know. You, the supervisors already came and fixed the situation of the illegal detainment. If there's no crime committed, or you don't suspect me of a crime that you can articulate, you shouldn't detain somebody. You informed me that uh, he assaulted you. Yeah, so? Why would you detain the victim then? I would detain both. Would that makes no sense. Alright, have a good day, alright? Where does that make sense? You detain a, the victim. Drive a shame. That's how you do it, guys. I'm back, back at it. Control. It'll be clear. That body's videotaping. I'll be in to do a few lines on this. Okay. Alright, guys. We're done here. If anything else comes up. This situation once again affirms the essential importance of the police understanding and accurately enforcing the law. It also highlights the critical role of protecting and exercising our rights under the Constitution, contributing to a society that respects justice and human rights. Moving on, we will discuss a situation where police said, you're not breaking the law. I'm not writing a report. We don't care if you're here or not. Yet their actions force citizens to abandon their rights. And I'm not going to commit a crime. Uh, you know, I mean, I, I'm not going to commit a crime. Know, that's good. I, that's you know, I don't like to say, man, I don't want to take, I don't, we don't want to have to be out here. A man was taking photos outside a nuclear power plant in South Texas, an action entirely in line with the First Amendment. However, the police seemed to misunderstand this and attempted to request his identification. Even though this area seemed sensitive in terms of security, demanding ID without a valid reason violates the Fourth Amendment, which protects citizens from unreasonable searches and seizures. In this case, the police needed specific evidence before asking for identification. Sent me out here. Okay, well, I don't want to give my identification because, you know, sometimes taking pictures of, of, for some reason, they call you when they have a visitor. I don't understand that, but, you know, taking pictures of some uh, infrastructure and stuff can get you put on the terror. I myself, I don't, I don't want to get hassled with all What's that. What's your name? Uh, my name is David. I'll give you that much. Where are you from? Okay. Right, well, up, I have a unit that's, I'm going to turn it over to them let you, them deal with you. Oh, so okay. you're just off-duty working, working extra job? Yes, sir. I, I don't know what you give it to them for. I haven't done oh, anything. I'm from the coast, so, you know, this is the only one that's close enough to come and take pictures of. I've never seen one before. I'm, I'm right out in the open. I'm not making any effort to conceal myself or what I'm doing. Until we know what you're doing, I mean, it's deemed suspicious. I understand, but you're not identifying yourself to me. And I explained to you why I don't want to identify myself. You know, in this day and age, when the government, their personal information. I'm not going to give it to anybody. It's just well, it, it, to find out who you are. That's well, like I said, I, you know, now they want to use those lists, which are not vetted. You know, if you piss a cop off, you could end up on that list. I mean, it's, it's the, the government is just out of control with that stuff. And that's, I, that's why I don't want to identify myself. I understand. I just want to inform you, it is it is against the law to, so just letting you know. It could be as simple as just showing me your ID and, and let me. 
So, dep they call you Deputy or Sergeant Barrera? Sergeant. B A R R. Now, how, how long have you been a police officer? 15 plus years. In that 15 years? I, I'm just curious. I mean, few. quite a few. But it was d under different circumstances. I'll take charges on 3802 because 3802 says you only have to identify yourself if you've been lawfully arrested. No. Okay. I can actually recite 3002 from start to finish, word for word. How's it going, man? All right. Good, good. Hey, I'm Deputy Franklin with the Sheriff's Office. Yep. Nice to meet you. Uh huh. Hey, uh, my guy said basically the nuclear plant called. I'm sure he's already kind of explained everything. Security issues that, uh, you know, hey, people coming out here taking pictures and stuff, they always have us check out on it, you know, to make sure that there's nothing nefarious going on. Um, you know, he said you had a kind of an issue telling us your name, and why is that? Well, as I explained to him, you know, you guys, you're going to generate a report. I mean, if you're not wanted, you don't have any warrants or anything, do you? I'm not actually you, going to do a report on this. I'm we'll pretty sure that you make sure sensitive infrastructure. and That's their policy. If they want to do a report, then they can do a report. Okay. Well, everything's 10 for. No, no. Anyway, so, so, I mean, it's up to me what I end up doing with it. But basically, okay. you know, well, the deal is, is... Contrary to the police's unreasonable behavior, the citizen in this instance correctly and commendably invoked Texas Penal Code Section 38.02 to refuse to provide identification in response to the police's unreasonable request. This law, known as failure to identify, stipulates that individuals are only required to provide identifying information when they have been lawfully arrested. This is a clear example of protecting personal rights against the abuse of power by law enforcement. Your name, your date, or your driver's license number, I run you, make sure you have no warrants, and then we're on our way. We just want to make sure there's not a terrorist out here trying to... I, I mean, you can Google the place. Uh, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> then what I'm taking here, so I don't understand what the you point know. is. I've never seen one of these places before. I came down. It, the thing is, if there's nothing, no problem, nobody's doing anything wrong, it shouldn't be a big deal for me to ask you, hey, man, can, do you have your driver's license? They want to know that somebody's not out here that's a I terrorist am. or that's wanted you know, that's wanted by immigration or wanted by Homeland Security. Oh, oh yeah, they're, paperwork, you know. All kinds of stuff. So they're, they're, I, they're, they're freaking out. I didn't do anything. Yeah. I we stood here, you, you know, know I can't help their paranoia. No, but you, you know, know, their workers call us. If we can well, go, if to, we can call them. To, you know, it's gone, what's happened in the past, you know, that's why they're, they're as sensitive as they are. Have yeah. terrorists attacked a nuclear power plant before? They think that they, because they can walk in the parking lot. There have been guys, hey, I walked in the parking lot. Look what I got away with. Okay, well, um, I, I've not entered their property. No, no. I'm not going to enter their right. property. I'm standing on my property, yeah, not yeah. their property. And the thing is, if I could just yeah, make sure you're not wanted, make sure you're not, hey, yeah, uh, Homeland Security. If that's not the case, is it? No. I don't think so. I mean, I wouldn't think so. You know, driver's license number, I'm going to run you. If everything's clear, man, I'm going to let you go. You're, everything's good. So, so what this is really about is seeing if I have warrants. I'm making sure that, let's say, you know, that you're not, well, it is about making sure you're not wanted. Doing all this, we don't, I don't know okay. you, you don't know me, I mean. I'll tell you, I am not wanted. Not very well, but it is baffling how the police behaved in this case. Although they did not issue an arrest, asking for identification without reasonable grounds violated the citizens' freedoms. This raises questions about their understanding and adherence to the law, as this action clearly does not align with constitutional regulations. The man was simply exercising his legal rights, but was treated unprofessionally and without justification. Just provide me with your driver's license, and uh, let me run you in. Make sure everything's squared away and you're good to go. I, I've already... Okay, uh, I don't want to give my identification because what I just explained to you... I'm doing a report to send off to Homeland Security. Well, if you're not doing a report, then... Dispatch, if you, if I you... run your information through dispatch. You're on your way down the road. Okay, well, I think I'm going to be on my way down the road right now. I, I, I think that's too. I, I think that's what I'm going to do. You're not You're not being detained at this point, but... Uh, We'll, uh, we'll, we'll just go from there. So, I mean, if you're going to refuse. Well, I've, I've, I've been cooperative. Okay, I'm going to tell you, look, it's broad daylight. I'm standing in plain view, making no way somebody trying to infiltrate. That's not the work of a terrorist. How do I know that? Wouldn't it be, uh, wouldn't that be a good thing to do? Hey, man, if stuff on the internet, I think I know the law. Here's what, you, you know, here's where we're going to go. Got another deputy coming? Side of a nuclear plant, man. You should know this. Well, I, I didn't know this. You know, I, I honestly did not. No. All right. Um, I mean, let's. I, I don't want to waste your time. I don't want to waste my time. I'm not going to identify myself. Okay. All right. 
unless you're arresting me for an offense. Are all of y'all T-Cole certified? So you had the updated training last year on open carry and public photography. Like I said, I, you know, we told you why we're out here. Yeah. Like I said, you know, you're not you're not under arrest right now. You're free to leave. Okay. But uh, you obviously know. I mean, you know. You, you, are you T Cole certified? This isn't your first. Wouldn't surprise me if you were first, a cop out here. First go around. So. What were you saying about in Texas? Everybody has to carry ID. I, Have I a good day. Oh, uh, now he doesn't want to talk. I'll be gone from here. I don't know how close the, the Uber pickup is, but I'm going to call him and have him come get me. I'm, I'm done here. Y'all done scared. In conclusion, law enforcement must go hand in hand with protecting personal freedoms. When police respect citizens' rights, they not only maintain order, but also build trust and cooperation from the community. This ensures that laws are enforced fairly and justly. What happens when a female auditor conducts a First Amendment rights check at a detention center? Let's find out. According to the First Amendment, every citizen has the right to film in public, as long as it does not interfere with others. However, when an auditor filmed at the Bucks County Jail, she did not receive recognition from the staff there. Instead of respecting her rights, they appeared annoyed, intentionally approached her, and requested that she stop filming. This is both perplexing and infuriating. Excuse me? You can't photograph this phone building. Away. Please put your phone away. Excuse me? Can't Why am I not allowed to photograph it's this the building? Facility. Please All right, how close are you guys going to come to me? Please, away, please don't. Please if you could explain to me why I have to. This is a correctional facility. Correct. Please not a public area that I'm in. Ma'am, please turn the I checked before I came. Off. This is public property. I do not do this. Please. Can you please call supervisor? I am the supervisor. I need your supervisor then, sir. Ma'am, please turn the phone Can off. Can you please, please to call a supervisor off. when I request one? I am one. the supervisor, ma'am. There's a supervisor above you that will know the law. Please turn the phone off. Are you law enforcement, sir? 12 to 11. You're entering a place where you're not supposed this to be at. I'm not area. entering this anywhere. Is if this is lot, restricted, this it is would restricted have a, Can this you guys please stop walking lot, up on me? Please well, stop getting so close to me, please. Please don't come close to me. I did not break the law. I'm not doing anything you wrong, sir, off, to your supervisor, I please. The supervisor, then I think you should call law enforcement because you have no authority over me. I'm not in jail. This is a constitutionally protected activity, sir. According Stop to the First idea. Amendment, I have the right to free press, freedom of peaceful protest. When I don't like what you're saying, I can challenge it. Please turn I'm a political off. activist. I will not turn my phone off. Please you guys can keep walking up on me. You better stop. Ma'am, please exit the property. Thousands of people. Carrie, like, look, do look good? Please exit the property. How many times are you going to repeat that? Ma'am, please turn your phone off. But I know my rights, sir. You have no authority over me, property. sir. This is a public parking lot. Visit the people in prison. Lot. This is it's not a, a public parking if lot. If it was restricted with a there gate, is it would. Here. Please turn your phone off and exit the area. Absolutely not. Please call a supervisor or law enforcement. This is not a private property. Ma'am, please exit the property. That's not a lawful order, sir. I follow lawful orders. I'm not one of those inmates that you can treat like crap. Did you see how they walked up on me? Two men with guns walking up on a female? This is how you represent Bucks County Correctional Facility? That's the kind of job you want to do? Yeah, it makes me upset. You don't do that. You don't walk up on a female and keep pushing and pushing. What is wrong with you? And you're behind and you're flanking me? Correctional facilities, although restricted areas, are still federal property and must respect citizens' freedom to film. It is unacceptable for correctional staff to become agitated, use attack dogs, and even surround the auditor with armed personnel to prevent filming. This not only reflects an abuse of power, but also represents an unnecessary waste of resources. Why deploy personnel thoughtlessly when a citizen is merely exercising their legal rights? have authority over me. Why? Ma'am, you need to exit the property. How many times are you going to repeat yourself, dude? 
I am not in prison, sir. I'm not one of those men that you can treat like crap. Ma'am, please turn your I want law enforcement to be in route because you have no authority over me. And when they get constitutionally protected activity, how about we read some case law? You want to do that? Turner, 848 F3D678, Fifth Circuit Court, 2017. Paid with our tax dollars to see what kind of job they're doing. And you guys just failed the First Amendment audit. What else? The American Civil Liberties Union versus Alvarez, 69. FD 358 2017. I can go on. I know what I'm doing. And yes, I'm going to get upset. For what? What do you think I'm going to do? And how many? Could I have your name? I want everybody's name. Aren't you supposed to identify when a member of the public asks you, sir, according to your policy? You're a right here kind of guy, right? Yeah, right here. That's great. What's your badge number? Oh, you don't answer questions now, but I'm supposed to, right? You do understand. I'm not in prison, sir. I haven't broken the law and I will not break the law. Haven't been arrested. I can't even believe this. Who are you? Get away from the door. Ma'am, back away from the canine, please. Why? What will happen? Away. How many feet do I have to be away? Back More. Away from back the canine, away. Man. Okay. How far Keep do you going. want me to go? No. Dog on me? Dude, who yeah, are back you? Away from the dog. Canine. I'm, how many feet do you want me What's to be that? away? A hundred? One. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. County Correctional Facility for Men. And if they're treating a female this way, how the hell are they treating the bodies gonna see? Keep repeating that shit over and over, right? You think you're gonna break down my logic? You never watch YouTube, huh? Yeah. You guys don't watch YouTube audits. You guys aren't know that you're not up on the law because I know you got lots of downtime you don't watch YouTube well you will now because you guys just became stars if you ever wanted to be an actor now you got it brain back there <laughs> awesome you guys are so cool I can't believe you Jay Christian right there Bucks County Ben's prison C. Brown, J. Stewart, and I don't want to get too close to the dog, Clayton. Sir, could I have your name too, please? Get away from the dog, ma'am. Sir, I'm sorry. Back up. Back up. Pass Maybe that you sign. shouldn't have a canine for a camera. Back, up. back away. You guys want to call a lawsuit? Oh. Ma'am, Oh, back I will away, shoot please. Bucks County. Do you better back up? Please. Get away from the dog. I'm not near the dog. Everyone, look how many feet I'm away from him and the dog. Do you want me to be away, sir? Much more. Keep moving. Of course you do. You have no authority to exert over me. Like, I never get upset like this. To be surrounded by armed men like this. Is this how you treat women? I'm waiting for law enforcement to come, sir. I don't want them to think I'm running away. Plus, I need them to educate you on the law. Just like they did at Perkasee and Quakertown Libraries. Wow, now they allow filming. Ma'am, this is the correction. A government installation that any citizen who pays taxes and is part of free press, and you just showed me, you guys suck. Do you know how many people are going to complain? Do you know how many people are going to call you guys and you over a camera? And I didn't get upset until all five of you surrounded me. Fortunately, knowledgeable police from Pennsylvania arrived in a timely manner. They not only knew how to de-escalate the tense situation, but also respected and upheld citizens' rights. However, despite their education, the behavior of some staff at the jail in this situation still raises significant concerns about how public officials uphold citizens' rights. Similar to how some staff members here disregard citizens' constitutional freedoms, a similar incident occurred at the Ventura Youth Detention Center in California, where a journalist was also asked by security staff to stop filming and faced excessive threats just for filming outside the facility. As I mentioned, these actions not only constitute an abuse of power, but also directly challenge the foundations of freedom that the Constitution established and protects. The camera, because the camera doesn't lie. Hello, sir. May I have your name and badge number, please? Okay. Um, I'm photographing legally like I'm allowed. Okay. He, Brown, and... That guy over there came up 
walked back to you that way, but kept getting closer and closer and closer and telling me to turn off my camera for a camera, for a constitutionally protected activity. And I told him, if law enforcement comes, you will educate them on the law. Quaker Town, just like they all did. They know the law. Leonardo DiCaprio, he can't stop cameras, right? What's wrong with me filming? Okay, give me People want to see this. And, uh, see where we stand. Thank you. <laughs> oh, sir, give your body cam on. Your sign? My tax dollars paid for it. Don't forget about these two dudes. Oh, I didn't get your name badge. Right there. Oh, you're a right here guy? You have so many cousins that I'll say the same thing. Are you guys related? That's why it's all my uniform. What if someone didn't know how to read who was watching like a disabled vet? Well, you would say, sir, I don't know how to read, and I would tell you. I'm in a full uniform. Huh? I'm in full uniform. Yes, aren't you supposed to identify? See, if I was an officer, because I'd be proud of what I did. And then become a cop and then tell me how to do my job. Here to disrespect you, I just don't like bad police. This well, is a where's where, this is public park. Where's your vehicle, man? It's not here. You wanna walk down there and I'll show you? Yeah. Could you? Top of my, no. Okay. Man, you can continue doing what you're doing, just I ask you to avoid filming any other security factors, which right. if you don't know what they are, then you wouldn't know. Same thing. we don't want you to- You want me and the officer, yeah, me and the officer to back up, not just me, sir. You're good. You're gonna get a thousand calls about how awesome you are. Thank you. Thank you, have a good one. You too. Pennsylvania State Constable came in to check things out. Wow. This situation emphasizes the importance of understanding one's rights. This awareness not only helps us defend ourselves against unreasonable demands, but also ensures that our citizenship rights are always respected and protected in all circumstances. Let's face a situation where police lack understanding and do not respect citizens' rights. What developments will unfold for the auditor in this scenario? Suspicious person inside the courthouse making everybody uneasy. That's not a crime. Give me your license. That's not right a crime, now. sir. License Can I speak right to your now. supervisor, please? License. You just talked to him. He was a sheriff. License, please. Go. Following an auditor at the Greenbrier County Court in West Virginia, you will notice that the freedom to film under the First Amendment seems forgotten here. The staff at the court not only lack legal knowledge, but also show a refusal to accept this right of citizens, even though this is a public area. The county clerk's office here. We're not giving them permission to record us. You're not giving me permission? No. I'm just taking some pictures and video, ma'am. I'm taking some video, yeah. Right, but you weren't on the video talking to me, ma'am, right? That doesn't make sense. Excuse me, sir? You can't video tape in here. Who are you? I'm, I'm security in the other courthouse. I'm going to take a step back. Your security, on, are you yes. law enforcement or yes. just security? Yes, I'm part of law enforcement, yes. Part of law enforcement? Yes. So what agency do you work for? You can't, you can't video tape in here. Why is that? This is a public, this is a public area, sir. You cannot video tape in here. Let's go. He just told them to call a deputy for what? The police, with their authority and legal knowledge, should be protecting citizens' rights. However, in this situation, the sheriff completely contradicted that principle. He not only asked the auditor to leave, but also demanded identification without any reasonable justification. This action seriously violates the Fourth Amendment, which protects citizens from searches and seizures without reasonable grounds. How are you? Good. Um, are you in charge of the gentleman upstairs? Yes. The security? Sure. You're the sheriff? And your name, sir? Bruce. Bruce. Okay. Sheriff Bruce. Um, escalating the situation, wouldn't identify themselves to me. I'm trying to explain to them that I'm just an independent journalist gathering content for a story, I, that I wasn't permitted to record in publicly accessible areas, so... Well, you know, there are some security yeah, concerns. There are security concerns. What are the security concerns? The security is not concerned with the building. You just can't videotape anywhere you want. Public area I can no, record. No, it's like I'm doing right now. In fact, you need to suck them in that. I'm, this is, there's nothing illegal about what I'm doing here. I'm just recording. Can I get your name, ma'am? Sure, it's Britt Ledway. Oh, okay. 
what's your last name? Sheriff Bruce. Finding information only because I'm still... identifying information from us. You only gave me your first name, Bruce. Oh, my last name's Slime. Sir, we what's have yours? a lot of these in this building, and so it's absolutely justifiable to ask you to identify yourself. I just story. told you my name is Sean. I don't want to compromise the story before it's published. That's the only... That's the only reason I don't want to compromise the story I'm working on before it's published. Pending journalist, that means I work for myself. Where are you based on it? I, I don't want to give any identifying information. Well, it's appropriate to ask you to exit the courthouse if you are not... That, that, is not, that is not accurate at no, all. That is accurate. Uh, this is a public building. I have a right to access the public building. How are you doing today, sir? Yes, do you get do. do you get everybody's ID when they walk in the building, sir? Or is it just because? It, yes. No, that's that's not true at all. Uh, you should know that as the sheriff. Yeah, the right to search and seizure. You can't seize my identity. Okay, don't don't put your hands on me. If I do, if I do, I'm trying to do a FOIA request to access public information. Yes, I do. This is, I'm a journalist. It's called, the, you ever heard of the First Amendment, ma'am? The freedom of press, correct? Well, so you're trampling on my freedom of press. It gives us all the freedom of press, too. All right, come on. Uh, I'm I need to, I need to, we need to be clear because you're, 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 you're we need to be clear. Just want to be clear. It's a federal civil rights lawsuit, ma'am. Okay. And it's, and it's on you. We're here. I'm asking you to leave. I'm, Can I get your title? And then I will leave. I'm, I'm, I'm asking you to leave, please. Issuing a command to leave means that failure to do so will lead to arrest. This is essentially what the police did in this situation. This action not only shows a lack of respect for the auditor, but also violates legal rights under U.S. law. This intervention raises concerns about personal freedom and questions the enforcement of laws regarding citizens' right to film. Will arrest me. Yes. Can I get your name and badge number, sir? Well, keep it up and you'll see it on the criminal report. Slowly, but yeah. Okay. Are you going to tell me to run? No. Okay, great. I will make my way. It's kind of hard so to your see name where is you're Sergeant going. Bennett? Yeah, yeah. It's kind of hard to you, see where you're going. You are a you work for the sheriff's department here? I'm just asking you to leave, sir. I have a right to access this building. This is a public building, sir. Uneasy by recording? Yep. Keep it's, a, it's a First Amendment protected activity, sir. Your county to a federal rights okay. federal civil from? rights lawsuit. Where are you from? That doesn't matter, sir. You act him off. The United States Constitution no, 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 no. doesn't no. end in West Virginia, sir. No, you're 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 going about this all stupid. You're asking me. Well, what's yours? What's your name? My Where name you is from? Sean, sir. Where are you from? Where are you from? Where do you live? Like Green Park County. Where do you think? That's some... Gotcha. Where do you live? So you're kicking me out of a public building, aren't you, Sergeant? Where do you live? Back up, please. Back up. It's public space, remember? Back up. Public space. Back up. Public space. Keep Get walking. out of my face. Public I'm walking. Space. You think go. you're real tough, don't you? Look at that way. You're gonna regret this. Okay. This way, please, sir. You just violated my constitutional rights. Hey. Oh. Our net know, is the security. Actually, you know what? I need to see your your ID right now, please. For what? What's the they crime? What's you your reasonable, articulable suspicion that I've committed a crime, sir? Suspicious person inside the courthouse. Can I speak right to your now. supervisor, please. License. You just talked to him. He was the sheriff. License, please. Go get the sheriff, sir. No license. What's what a crime have I committed? For one, you're making everybody uneasy. That's not a crime, I sir. I didn't say it's a crime. But you need reasonable, articulable suspicion of a crime to demand ID from me, sir. No. If I get caught on anything, don't put your hands near your pockets. Please your calm pockets. down. Please calm down. Listen. I went into a courthouse. I don't have any weapons on me. Listen. That's a good, real investigative work you're doing there. We need to make calls for cops. That, that requires an investigation. Uh, and sir, he's job. trying to demand ID from me. Demand ID from me or he's going to arrest right, me. You're out of the courthouse now. So. Yeah, so go back to work. Do what you need to do. You're not getting my ID. Yeah, for trespassing, correct? You're trespassing me from the building? No, you just need to identify yourself. Now, that's correct. No one else does it. Why Why do I have to no, do it? You are refusing to. You're the one video. Because I'm it's not, a First Amendment protected activity. You. You're making a big mistake. And you were never going to get my ID. None of you were. Wow. What a bunch of tyrants here in West, West Virginia, man. Through this situation, we see that threats of arrest and demands to leave not only infringe upon personal freedoms, but also demonstrate a lack of respect for the law. To protect oneself under the law, individuals should clearly understand their rights and how to behave appropriately when facing law enforcement. Staying calm and recording interactions can be an effective way to protect oneself.
Thank you for watching today's video. Through the cases we've explored, I hope you have a better understanding of the importance of protecting civil rights. Always remember that our freedoms need to be safeguarded and promoted. Don't hesitate to speak up and act for what you believe in. Only when we collectively protect these rights can society grow stronger. If you found this video helpful, please like and share to spread the message. I look forward to seeing you in future videos where we will continue discussing and exploring civil rights and important social issues.